Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beast since I upload every single Tuesday and Sunday. So today I am taking you along our family morning routine. You saw I wake up at 5.20. My husband is the one making the coffees today. I am still loving my Rainforest Crunch. And then we are going to start our workout. He's just riding the bike today and I am doing my E2M fitness routine. I'm gonna go ahead and do five rounds of this. I'm also using my Verilux light that I use in the winter to help battle those winter blues. If you're new here and you didn't see the title of this video, I have four kids. I have two boys, seven and six, and two girls that are four and two. So they're all still sleeping right now and this is the only way I get my workouts in. I am not somebody that can work out at night. I just, I won't do it. I'll make every excuse under the sun. So it has to be early in the morning. And basically for me, I'm not a morning person at all. So I'm so tired that I don't even remember my workouts. So it works out well. <laughs> After I'm done this workout, I start my next workout, which is getting my kids ready for school. So um, my daughter who is four, Ella, she goes to preschool three times a week. Today is not one of those days. So I'm only packing lunches for the boys. They only ever wanna buy lunch on pizza, taco, or French toast day. If it's not those days, they're not buying lunch. So I am making them their lunches first. So I have been splitting a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for the boys because they have so much other stuff in their lunch and they find that they actually eat all of their lunch when we do it this way um, because otherwise they're bringing home so much stuff left over in their lunch box. I do like that their school sends the leftovers home so I know what they ate that day. You take me higher when we're together It feels like you set my whole world on fire I know I want you So while I'm packing the kids' lunches, Chris is showering in the basement. He usually showers right away after his workouts because he gets really sweaty. I don't usually. I'm just, I don't know if it's for my thyroid or what. I just don't sweat a lot when I work out. But anyway, I take my shower after the boys go off to school. Okay, you see, it's 6.29. I try to keep you updated on time while so I'm doing this and their lunches are packed. I don't know why, I just cannot get into the routine of packing their lunches the night before. I've done it in the past and they complain that like their bread is soggy and stuff like that, but yeah. Now I'm just writing them their little notes on their napkins and then going to get their snack for the day as well. Also, Chris does pack their lunches sometimes depending on where we're at during the day. We always tag team everything. Lunches and snacks are packed and Ella is the first one up today. Usually it's Carter. He's usually a very early riser, but we are just, you know, going through um, the time change and all of that. So they've definitely been waking up a little bit later, but hands down, Tanner is always my best sleeper. So they're kind of just waking up and chilling and I'm going to start on their breakfast and Chris is helping. So Carter is having waffles with butter and syrup, Ella is having scrambled eggs, and then you'll see later that Tanner and Everly when they wake up are having a cinnamon raisin bagel. Uh, 
here also see um, this little side cup of syrup. That's for Ella. She likes to dip her little sausage links into syrup. Next up, it is time to unload the dishwasher so that we are able to reload it after breakfast. So again, kind of both just tag teaming all of this. We don't have like set roles. We just kind of work together. We've been together for 13 years now. So we kind of just know the groove and just tag team literally everything. While Chris is finishing up with the dishwasher, I am just starting vitamins for today. It's also Monday when I'm filming this, so it was time for me to refill my supplement container. But first, I'm just getting all the kids' vitamins together. We do liquid vitamins as much as possible when we're not in a rush. And when we're in a rush, we do either Haya or the Mary Roots gummy vitamins. But something in me just likes giving them the liquid better. It's uh, fish oil, B12. Um, we're actually out of B12 right now, so I didn't get to put that in there. But we usually do fish oil, zinc. B12, um, vitamin D, and Carter takes magnesium because he was getting headaches. We took him to the doctor and they said to try more magnesium and it worked out perfectly. His headaches went away. Chris set the camera up and asked me for a hug just so he could tickle me, so that's what that is. But we definitely do stop and take our time to like, you know, give each other a hug, say good morning to each other. Um, even though we work out together, we don't really say a lot in the morning because we're dead and just like working out and surviving. But anyway, filling up my supplement containers. Ella likes to help me with everything, so I let her put one of my supplements in the, in the container. Obviously, don't let your kids play with supplements, but I was right there, and she's a big helper. She would never want to take any of that. Anyway, you saw my tan man is up, and now I'm just doing Ella's hair. We're going to get Tanner his breakfast going, um, and then I'm going to do Carter's hair and just finish off their routine before I go ahead and get the baby. I can hear her starting to wake up. I love having hair supplies downstairs. I just keep them in a bag like this in the kitchen. It just makes our life easier. Um, so heading upstairs to get my Evie. I try to open up the blinds instead of turn the light on her and like we look out the window and talk about the weather and she points out whatever she sees and then of course all the hugs and kisses in the world because it is absolutely the best and I can't believe she's my last baby. She's growing up so fast. I don't know if you caught that, but she's rubbing my back. She's literally so sweet. I told her the other day, I was like, you're my best friend. I love you so much. And she said forever. And I just lost my mind. She's so sweet. Anyway, she loves to get her diaper and stuff the next day. She's a very big helper who likes to do everything herself. She likes to give everybody their big hugs in the morning when they wake up. Um, so yeah, anyway, now I'm going to start heading upstairs while Chris gets her breakfast ready. It is 8.09. Chris already made the bed and I'm just hopping in a quick shower and I promise you this whole makeup and hair routine because I already blow dry my hair the night before, um, it takes me under five minutes. So this is my five minute throw on some makeup, get the kids off to school, um, get ready with me. <laughs> and had a minute before the bus came to take a quick little thumbnail photo so here we are <laughs> anyway now evie is taking her vitamins she is all dressed and ready for the day as well who else's toddler is a snack fiend i could tell that she was going to want the purple cup i already know so i'm just waiting it's not even 9 a.m. and she's having some chips, but whatever, I let her snack. Finally, it is my turn to eat. 
I'm just making my toast that I've been obsessed with. I do one side with the lactose free cottage cheese and microgreens, which microgreens are supposed to have a lot more um, nutritionist, oh, nutritionist, oh my gosh. <laughs> microgreens are supposed to be a lot more nutritious than the plant in full form. So I've been loving them. Plus it gives it like a nice, really yummy, fresh taste. And then of course I add some everything bagel seasoning. And then on the other side, I've been obsessed with this chia jelly. Um, I just ordered a strawberry flavor that I'm excited to try, but so far I've been doing raspberry. But what I like about it is that obviously it has the chia in it, but it also um, is just made with dates and lemon juice. So it's a very clean ingredient and it's very delicious. So by the time I'm finished eating, Everly already took her hair out. This girl barely ever keeps her hair in. So funny, but I would still try every single day. Some days she keeps it in, but most days she takes it out. Chris is feeding the dogs, and then I'm going to start loading up the dishwasher and wiping down the kitchen. I love resetting the kitchen after every meal because it just sets the tone for the day and makes life easier. Dishes are done and now I'm just going to go ahead and wipe everything down and I'm going to show you a super easy and delicious crock pot meal. I love crock pot meals, especially there's a few days a week where we have a lot going on. We do swim, soccer, dance, we're about to start t-ball and baseball, so easy meals are life. So in the crock pot, I'm just going to throw in some um, chicken thighs, which you'll see in a second here after I'm done wiping everything down. Chicken thighs, I'm doing a sugar-free barbecue sauce. I loved it until I found out that it had caramel color in it, which just is annoying because that's really unhealthy for you. Just look up caramel coloring and you'll find all you need to know. However, if you have a good, clean barbecue sauce that's not full of like a bunch of sugar and bad ingredients, please let me know because I would love to find that out. And then I'm adding some jalapeno peppers. This doesn't make it super spicy. It just gives it an amazing flavor. So we had this over some rice and some steamed broccoli and it was absolutely delicious. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Also the timing for this crock pot meal, it depends on your crock pot, but I just did it on low. Um, and then I just, you know, I think it was like six hours or something until we wound up eating it. So low for six hours, but the key is supposed to be low for eight hours or high for four, but these days crock pots are really, really hot. So I don't want you to burn your meal. I feel like you know your crock pot, but for me, it was six hours on low. So anyway, hope that you enjoyed this. I will see you on Sunday. Okay.